Your low voltage transformer has two output wires. One wire will connect directly to the coil on your relay and one to the coil on your contactor. The other low voltage wire then connects into your torch low voltage wire which goes to the trigger of your torch. When it's pulled it will then allow current to flow out the other wire which you will then connect to the remaining coil contact on your fan relay and your contactor. Them up. I prefer blue to be my common. Here you see my bus bar connections for my ground and my 240 line voltage. The transformer, of course, is connected to the 240, as well as one of the wires that goes to the normally open contact on the fan relay. The air valve then has one of its wire, being that it's a 110 volt valve, connects to the other normally open contact of the fan relay. Once again, you see the high voltage 110 line there. And now the remaining air valve connection then connects to ground to have the proper 110 volt voltage that's needed to operate the valve. Here you see the adapter brass fittings that connect to the air valve. Uh, this will be found in your parts list and the instructions you purchased. Your torch will not have this brass T, but will connect directly to the air line. And you might take a note here that we have an air quick connect directly off the valve. <laughs>